Welcome to the Marshall News and Views show. Uh, we're out here uh, by the uh, uh, new liquor store that's being constructed behind us. And Glenn Olson here, who is the uh, city engineer, is going to tell us about the progress of that. No, thank you, Elaine. Uh, the, you can see in the background the uh, liquor store is really coming along well. The roof is on. Uh, the uh, concrete work is uh, essentially complete on the north side of the building. Uh, they've got some samples if we want to take a look too, to our right, uh, to your right, some samples of the brick and siding. They'll be going up uh, uh, for face work on the, on the building. Uh, the building is substantially larger than our existing building Good. and uh, the issues there are, you know, the product that you can show and the convenience that can be given to the public, uh, both for aisle width and, and uh, just a, a nicer experience to come in and shop. And that was kind of the primary reason for the relocation and size uh, change. So lots of, lots of new things coming. Uh, the uh, construction is essentially on target yeah. for timing and uh, we really look forward to the completion of this facility. We'll be coming back here again before the completion is done, but we wanted you to see kind of a, a, a interim uh, stage of the building. Right. It, uh, it just doesn't spring up overnight. Oh, yeah. There's lots of things to do both with all the outside work that's being done and then of course all the interior work too that's right. necessary so we're well, one thing i wanted to add too is the fact that there's so much better parking out here bigger parking <laughs> spot and easier to get to uh the one that we have right now is is extremely dangerous and i'm surprised we haven't had more accidents there people getting in and out of that parking lot well i think they're just used to it you know yeah, how it goes when yeah. when it's been there for Forever. so many years <laughs> but but convenience is is really important for uh, sales for for a liquor store and with the parking that you see here uh, we can accommodate the longer vehicles and and vehicles going up to the lakes for the for the weekends and things sure. like that yeah. so uh, when the when the facility is done I think it will really be a, a welcome change right. to the people here and I think with a, they're proposing that this should be open probably before the holidays, right? We hope to. We hope to hope be. So. And uh, if if nothing else, at least before homecoming. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There Let's put that in uh, there. All right. You never know. All right. All right. So good. Okay. Now we're over at the uh, uh, Highway 23 bypass and uh, Saratoga Street. The new, all the new construction here, and you can see uh, uh, over on the left here the foundations for the um, uh, overpass, pedestrian overpass. Yep. So you want to explain? Some yes. More? Uh, we've got uh, three piers in the abutment on the south side of Trunk Highway 23. They'll take uh, pedestrians up over the top of Highway 23. The structure itself will span both, high, uh, both sets of roadways here, so there will be no center uh, pier in the middle of, uh, of Highway 23. It's a very long span. Uh, you can also see we had to work around the uh, power lines that are running through here and the power company had to raise both of these uh, uh, poles on one on each side of the structure itself to make sure there was adequate clearance for the structure itself. So the, the south side uh, piers are complete. Uh, now we're going to the north side where the contractor is doing the footings and foundations for this side. They'll be essentially identical to those uh, on the on the south side of the highway. So you can see there's one, two, three, four different piers already set up for for pouring. The piles have been have been pounded in for support and now they're doing the footings and foundations for the piers. There'll be there'll be four of these and then the abutment at the other end. So you can see it takes quite a long grade to come up over the roadway and then come down the other side. Uh, and primarily that's for um, the ADA, the, uh, the Disabilities yeah. Act, uh, for slopes and, and uh, accessibility to the facility. You can also see Saratoga Street had 
always been about four to six feet above the surrounding ground. That's been tapered down. There'll be new curb and gutter going in and the grade will be reduced significantly. Uh, so a lot, a lot more like a city street than a rural road. Uh, the the uh, condition of the roadway wasn't good to start with, so we're taking care of that with the construction of this project as well. Uh, now we're over at the corner of A Street and Main Street, uh, and uh, there's considerable extra uh, construction going place here, right? <laughs> Taking place, I yes, should say. Yes, we, we've uh, done a lot of work here on A Street already. They've replaced all of the sanitary sewer main from uh, Marshall Street to Main Street. And you can see that we had a little bit of rain over the weekend, so it slowed things down a bit, but they'll be starting again tomorrow. Uh, the contractor is also looking at the section of of Main Street that MnDOT is going to be uh, completely removing. Uh, that was an additional project that they didn't count on, but when they milled the asphalt surface on, the off the the um, concrete underneath it was in such bad shape that it needed to be replaced. And of course, then being all the concrete and asphalt needed to be replaced, then we took a look at the sanitary sewer and storm sewer underneath the street and determined that now was the time to do that because there were significant issues with, the, with those two utilities as well. So uh, this section of roadway it was not scheduled to be closed. It was supposed to be milled and overlaid, but now it can't be. Uh, it'll change some of our plans for the parades and sounds of summer activities and those kinds of things uh, but it is the way it is now is the time that it has to be replaced uh, a street will be under construction until the mid to late september so that that will also be uh, really close to any types of traffic uh, we know school is starting there will be some inconveniences for construction during uh, the beginning of school but uh, this project was scheduled to go all the way through uh, the, uh, through September and into October. Uh, so that, that wasn't a change, just is going to be some construction during school starting. Well, when we get to this, this section of uh, Marshall too, this is, this is uh, the old section oh, yes. of Marshall, and a lot of this has not been done for, you know, over a hundred years, yep. probably, and so it's, it always takes uh, more time coming through this this area of Marshall. Yeah, we know this uh, section is at least 50 to 60 years old, probably from the 40s, something like that for for uh, a portion of it, okay. and and some even older than that. Yeah, I was going to say we get down over by Park Avenue and yep. High Street, and and that was uh, some of the some first some original some original stuff over there. And yeah. that that area that we've already replaced, we replaced yeah. uh, recently. You now this was the next section. Yeah. We'll be continuing on over the next several years, going yep. uh, east from here as well. Uh, the the utilities only last. A finite period of time you yeah. know anything over 30 years for the old clay tile yeah. piping and and things are, are ready for for replacement right. even the street sections you can see they're starting to deteriorate we've done overlays with them and now are probably in the in the section for reconstruction sure. but sure. Uh, you can see here it's just kind of waiting for the contractors to get started again it does take time for MnDOT to process all the paperwork for and funding for uh, a significant change yes. to a project like this yeah. so uh, we're, we're we're being patient but now it it really changes some of our um, things that we have to do as exactly. well exactly but it, it is progress and we're glad to see it being taken care of well we'd like we we want to make sure that we do our replacements in conjunction with MnDOT because sure. we would hate to do their entire replacement and then five years from now tear it up exactly. again to just do the utilities underneath so right. that's really the reason for the investment now it's needed to be done soon yes. and now is the time to do it real good well thank you again and uh, we will see you again soon we'll get out and and uh, look around town and see what's happening yes thank you thank you